Hello my beautiful bitters, welcome to my channel and today I have my intro for my Project Polish Mini Edition for 2019. Last year I kicked butt in both of my Project Polishes like usual and I would like to kick butt again. <laughs> so let's get into my starting polishes. Okay. So I thought I picked out 10, but I added three more just because I was already halfway through them because they're they're rolling over from last year. So I figured they will get used up pretty quick. I'll really focus on those to get them out and then just try to stick with 10. Good plan, good plan, we'll see. <laughs> so the first one is OPI Mini in Alpine Snow. And as you can see, quite a bit of it has been used already, only because I have been using my products with my um, advent calendar openings. Can you see that? You can see through the bottle, but I have lots of whites, so I'm just going to use this one up. Next one is OPI Mini in Simone Sands. And that's where I'm at in this polish. And not a whole lot has been used. I don't know if you can see that line. Probably not. But I'm up at the top. Some of it's been used, but not all. Okay, OPI Mini in Dazzling Dewdrop. Right here. I don't know if you can see that line. Probably not, but I'm starting right about here in this gold shade. Now this is OPI Tinker, Thinker, Winker, which is in the Nutcracker collection. And it is, I have silver hollows like this, so which is why it's in this project to be used up. Next one is OPI It's a Girl. Putting it in because I have lots of pinks, plus I used up a lot of this because this is a sheer polish. So you have to use a lot on your nails. And you will see here in a second, all I did was do a swatch and like a nail art or a couple nail arts with this. So as you can kind of see through, you can kind of sort of see through that still. And that's like three coats on this one. But yeah, China Glaze, y'all ready for this, which is this beautiful red. And I do have a line where I'm starting in this red shade. China Glaze Better Not Pout. Beautiful raspberry shade. And I have a line up there at the neck of this polish. Okay, OPI Dreams Need Clarification. I have a full size of this. So I would like to use this one up. Just because I have a full size. And I do have this on my nails today. So, Orly and Lumiere's Light. So, as you can see, I, I am right here in this product. I don't know if you can see that silver line. Probably not. Right where my nail is, that's where I'm at in this product. So, this one will get used up right quick. It's just a gold glitter topper. So, that was one of the extra bonuses that I threw in because I figured that'll get used up real, real quick. Real quick. That'll get used up. The next one that'll get used up real quick, just because I have half of it used up, which is Orly in Magic Mirror. And I don't know if you can see that silver line, but I'm right here. So I don't have much of this left. And if you're wondering about color between Dreams Needing Clarification and Magic Mirror, as you can tell, that there is a vast difference in color but it's something that I can pair together in a nail art. China Glaze in Blue Ya, yeah, which is this one right here. And line is there. It's wet and wild, up in the air. This one I've used a lot of, and this is one that I could use over many polishes. I have so many blues in my full sizes and a lot of blues in this. So I'll be able to plop this over the top of a lot of polishes. So that's where I'm at in this like iridescent holographic, it's iridescent holographic little 
shimmers in there with a light blue base. This one is China Glaze and Don't Get Elfed Up. This one is halfway used up. I don't know if you see that. There's that line and that's where I'm at. So it's another one that I'll be able to use up right quick. So that's why I have 13 because three of these I have big dents in and I'll be able to use them up pretty darn quick. So there is my Project Polish Minis. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me get this on so you guys can see all the colors. So a lot of blue shades, a lot of nudie, goldy shades as well with some reds and pinks. So this I'm definitely feeling for winter and a lot of this can be rolled over into spring. I was thinking about winter shades, but also preparing for spring as well. So out of those, seven are spring worthy. They're, they're ready just to jump right on into spring. So let me see if I can flip this around so you can see. Here's my spring. These are the colors that'll flip over into spring real quick. So I wanted colors that I can wear for winter but then also have colors that are ready to flip over into spring. I'm trying to think ahead of the game. So, but, and then I'll focus on this half, in particular using a little bit of this half, but I think I will be able to do a lot of great nail art and such with these. So thank you guys for joining me and I'll see you guys in my next video.